Today, I'm going to tell you why you should not be using pour cost percentage to track theft and overpours in your bar, and we're starting right now. Hey now, Dave Allred, The Real Barman here from barpatrol.net and therealbarman.com. And yes, you heard me correctly. I'm going to tell you why you should not be using cost percentage to track overpours and theft in your bar, which I know is counterintuitive to 90% of the bars out there who do it. You also have the bar manager like, oh, we got to bring our, cor- our pour cost percentage down. Why is our pour cost percentage so high? You better get it down or heads are going to roll, man. All right, but here's the problem. Let's head to the computer so I can show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to stay right here with you. I'm just going to be a little bit smaller down here. We'll put some nice music on. Yep, yep, there you go. Some nice mellow music. You can stop worrying about overpours and theft and losing money. And we'll do a little example here. The problem is, is that different brands pour at different cost percentages and different profit margins. Okay, so let's do an example here. We're going to do the welterweight fight between Burnett's Vodka and Grey Goose Vodka. One's a very cheap vodka, one's more premium. Okay, so let's go over some metrics here so I can show you what I'm talking about. Let's start with Burnett's. Okay, let's assume that Burnett's costs you $6.50 to purchase it as an owner. For a one liter bottle, that's what it costs you. You charge your guest $5 per shot. That's nice and cheap. That's good for them. If you pour 1.5 ounce pours, which is a standard pour in the bar industry, you're going to get 22.5 shots out of that bottle which means if your bartenders theoretically pour it accurately, which we know they don't, you should get $135 out of that bottle. If we divide 650 into 135, this is how we get the cost percentage for a bottle of liquor, and it's at 4.8%. We're going to round that up to 5%, which means your profit margin for Burnett's is 95%. That's awesome. Okay, why would we even sell anything else? All right, let's move on before we answer that question. So we know we have a 5% liquor cost. We sell it at $5 per shot. There's 22.5 shots per bottle, $135 per bottle times that 0.95% profit margin means that your profit for a bottle of Burnett's is $128.25. Are you following? Are we getting all this? All right, let's move on to Grey Goose. Cost of a Grey Goose bottle, $37 per bottle, much more expensive. Sell price, $9 a shot, 22.5 shots per bottle. It's the same, we're pouring 1.5 ounces. That means you should get $202.50 out of a bottle of Grey Goose. If we do our math again, nine divided by 202.50, we get 18.3% for Grey Goose, profit margin of 81.7%. We got that? So much lower profit margin. Why even carry Grey Goose? Let's continue on to find out. All right, let's go through the the rest of the metrics. 18.3% liquor cost. We know we sell it at $9. We're getting 22.5 shots per bottle. 202 per bottle times that profit margin means $165.44 in profit. So if we go back to our head to head, we have 128.25 at 5% and 165.44 at 18.3%, which means you're getting $37.19 more per bottle of Grey Goose. Okay, remember, the goal of your business is to put dollars in the bank, not percentages. Okay, you can't buy new shoes for your kid with percentages, or Wave Runners, or buy your friends drinks, or Venmo them percentages. We can't live on percentages. Dollars is what matters. This number matters, not this number and not this number. And this is why you constantly hear me in my other videos preaching to upsell for your servers and bartenders. People order a vodka soda. Hey, what type of vodka do you like? They're gonna four out of five times order a brand name, Grey Goose Absolute, something with a higher profit. This is why we do it, because we wanna make more money. Okay, if you are a bar manager who are getting ridden by the owner to lower pour cost percentage, if you were savvy, you'd push the well. You tell bartenders, sell well liquor, it's going to lower the pour cost percentage. Of course, you'd be a crap manager because you'd be costing the company money just to lower the pour cost percentage. Does that make sense? So then, if we're not going to use pour cost percentage to measure theft and overpours, what the hell should we use? Well, many of you may already know this, but we're going to use variance percentage. Okay, because variance percentage does not care what the cost or the price or the profit margin of the bottle is. It only cares what's physically missing. 
So as many of you also know, with Bar Patrol Inventory app, we do track cost percentage, but we track variance percentage, which is oh so important. So if we go here really quick to Bar Patrol and we look at a variance report here, you can see it breaks it down by every single brand you carry so you can see exactly what the bartenders are doing behind the bar. Let's look at a quick example. Corbell Brandy here, you can see that 27 were rang in by the servers and bartenders, which means they should have poured 40.5 ounces based on 1.5 ounce pours. Okay, they actually poured over 58 ounces. They lost almost 18 ounces of Corbell Brandy. They lost $10 wholesale, $82 retail. This is the ideal cost percentage of Corbell if they poured it perfectly. This is the way they actually poured it. So they lost more than 5% on poor cost percentage of Corbell, but this is the metric we're looking at mostly, 43% in variance, which means that's what's physically missing of Corbell Brandy. So this is the metric we wanna look at. This is what's gonna tell you exactly what's going on. For those of you who are true number and math geeks, the way you get variance percentages, divide the over short into the ounces rang in, and that's gonna give you that number right here. But when I look at this report, when I go run a report on a daily or weekly basis, I go right down this column here. Okay, anything in single digits is good. Teens aren't too bad, but anything getting up in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and beyond, obviously, is very bad. So you can sit down with this report, sit down with the bartenders, either as a group or individually, and say, hey, I know what's going on. These numbers need to improve. It's very powerful information for running your business. So there's a quick lesson on the dangers of only using cost percentage as a metric behind your bar. I just want you to be fully aware of what those numbers mean so you can make smart business decisions when it comes to running your business and making more profits. Okay, so push the Grey Goose, push the Don Julio 1942, stop try trying to acquire percentages and start acquiring more profits. Okay, I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. I'm gonna see you next time. I'm out.